In order to understand image processing, first you should know what an image is. An image is actually a grid. A grid of values. Each of these elements inside the grid together makes an image. We call each element a pixel, which stands for a picture element. So, if we consider a single pixel, it has the ability to store values like 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 255. This value of the pixel defines its color. If the value of this pixel is 0, it indicates pure black. If the value is 255, the pixel indicates pure white. Any value between 0 and 255 indicates shades of gray. Every pixel in this image has some kind of a value. So this pixel right here is white. This pixel right here is a shade of gray. And this pixel is more dark. When the computer shows a picture to you, it reads all these values and shows the correct color for each pixel. So, what you would be seeing is not a collection of numbers, but a collection of colors. You might wonder what happened to the other colors, but for now, we are just going to talk about grayscale images which do not have colors. We will come back to the color images in future videos. Now, the height of this image is the number of vertical pixels. In this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 pixels in a vertical column in our image. However, we do not start the first pixel from 1 in image processing. We start it from 0. So I'm going to put it down, remove 8, and place 0 on top. Right. So we say we are having 8 rows in our image, starting from 0 all the way up to 7. Now this is the height of our image. So we say the height is 8 pixels. Or you can say we have 8 rows in our image. Likewise, we have 10 columns in this image. So the number of columns is actually the width of the image. So when we multiply the number of rows by the number of columns, we get the total number of pixels in the image. This number is called the resolution. Now imagine that you need to change the value of this pixel. And let's say the name of this pixel is Bob. So when you ask Bob to change his value, the color of the pixel will change. But the problem is, we don't know the names of the other pixels. So in image processing, we don't call this pixel Bob. Instead, we call this pixel 6, 5. This is nothing more than the row number and its column number. So let's say we want to address this pixel over here. So what we need to do is to first find out its address. Since it is on row 5 and column 8, so this pixel is 5, 8. Now we can ask 5, 8 to change its color. Even this thing over here is our image. We don't call it an image anymore. Instead, we call it a matrix. There's one last thing you need to keep in mind. Earlier we told this pixel over here can store any value from 0 to 255. 
Now, if you try to store 256, it will revert back to zero. A pixel has a limited capacity. It can actually store a byte or 8 bits. So that said, our image right here weighs 80 bytes because we have 80 pixels. That's all for this tutorial. See you in the next one.